Zebras are a member of the equity family and are native to Africa, yet they are not the same species as horses. The Grevy Zebra, the Plains Zebra, and the Mountain Zebra are the three subspecies of zebras. Let's discover more interesting details about these horses with black and white stripes. Like human fingerprints, zebra stripes are distinctive. A zebra's stripes are distinctive, therefore no two zebras are alike in terms of their patterns. Their stripes are as distinctive to them as a person's fingerprints are. Although these stripes appear identical to the human eye, other zebras can distinguish between them in the wild thanks to their distinctive patterns. The type of pattern on a zebra's stripes allows it to identify its family. Zebras have stripes because they need to regulate their body temperature. While the white stripes reflect more light and keep the zebras cool while they stand and graze in the hot African sun all day, the black stripes absorb heat from the sun and warm up the animals in the morning. They're capable of nonverbal communication. Zebras can make sounds, but they can also communicate with one another by making different facial expressions and by flicking and moving their ears. Additionally, they can communicate by sneezing and enlarging their eyes. For instance, zebras will push their faces forward and stick their ears straight up as they meet one another. However, when they are scared or angry, their ears go forward or backward, respectively. They are able to sleep upright. Zebras go to sleep at night to enter a more profound, REM state of sleep. However, you can frequently find wild zebras dozing off while standing if they are napping during the day. Since getting up can frequently be difficult and awkward, this enables them to be vigilant if danger is close by, giving them time to flee rapidly if a threat is imminent. They are rather large. Zebras are relatively large since they are related to both horses and donkeys. Depending on their subspecies, their size varies. The plain zebra is the smallest of the three, with an average height at the shoulder of around 4 feet and a weight range of 380 to 850 pounds. The height of the mountain zebra is similar to that of the plain zebra, although it can weigh up to 950 pounds. The Grievous Zebra is the largest of the subspecies, with an average height of 5 feet and a maximum weight of 992 pounds. Zebras only exist in Africa. All zebra subspecies are native to and currently reside in Africa, but the location varies. Only occurring in Ethiopia and largely in Kenya, semi-arid grasslands and savanna habitats are preferred by the Grevy's zebra. Southwest Africa is home to the mountain zebra, which loves dry, stony, and hilly settings. The plains zebra has the largest range, living in savannas and treeless grasslands in eastern and southern Africa. They eat vegetables. Zebras don't have particular food preferences and consume a variety of grasses found in Africa. They occasionally can be seen eating trees and foliage as well. As a result, they have a wider geographic range than other animals in Africa, sometimes even living in or grazing in woods. While they occasionally consume fruit that has fallen from trees, their main diet consists of grass, leaves, twigs, and occasionally tree bark. They are able to blend in. Zebras can camouflage, which may sound strange because it is difficult to imagine an animal with black and white stripes being able to blend in with its surroundings. Most of its predators, like lions, are colorblind, though. Zebra stripes design, which fits in with thick, wavy lines of grass to conceal them in the middle of the wilderness, is more significant than their color. In the wild, a predator may miss a zebra if it remains stationary because to its stripes natural ability to merge with any color of grass. Milk Teeth Zebra Baby Teeth 
Zebras, like horses, have two sets of teeth throughout their lives. The first set is referred to as the milk or deciduous teeth. Zebras are born without teeth, but within a week of birth, they often get their first tooth. They have 12 incisors and 12 premolars, totaling 24 milk teeth. The central incisors are the first to erupt, and by the time the zebra foal is two weeks old, the premolars are often pushing through the gums. By the time they are nine months old, the rest of their incisors are typically coming in. The adult teeth are positioned in the jaw below the baby teeth and slowly push the baby teeth up with them as they do so. Since the milk teeth are the cap that covers the adult tooth when this occurs, they are referred to as caps. The crowns are eventually lost once the adult teeth fully erupt. By the time the zebra reaches the age of five, all of its milk teeth have typically fallen out. All of their adult teeth are present by this point. Three zebra species can be found in the wild. The three remaining zebra species are the plain zebra, the mountain zebra, and the grevy zebra, and they can be found in all parts of Africa. All three are members of the genus Equus, along with horses and donkeys. The grevy zebra, which is unique to Ethiopia and Kenya, was given its name in honor of Jules Grevy, the 19th century president of France who received one as a gift from Abyssinia. It is the biggest and heaviest of the three, weighing up to a thousand pounds. The smallest plains zebras can weigh up to 850 pounds. Their distribution stretches from southern Ethiopia and South Sudan to northern South Africa. The mountain zebra, the smallest species, can weigh up to 800 pounds and is only found in South Africa, Namibia, and Angola. They have a variety of self-defense techniques. Zebras may repel predators from their herd and their territory by biting, kicking, and pushing them away. Similar violent behavior is displayed by them when another stallion tries to control their herd or when they want to show off their authority during mating. When a zebra is threatened, several zebras defend it and surround it in a circle to fend off the attacker. Zebras may run up to 40 to 55 miles per hour to flee danger. This is a more typical method of self-preservation. They are outstanding climbers. Mountain zebras naturally inhabit rough terrain at high altitudes. They have strong, pointed hooves that enable them to scale mountains, therefore they are well suited for their environment. Mountain zebras, who live at elevations of more than 6,500 feet, use their outstanding climbing skills to travel between mountains in search of food and water. Plain zebras compete by living in a variety of various habitats, from highlands that reach heights of 14,000 feet to the Serengeti Plains. Grevy zebras often stay at elevations under 2,000 feet, closer to the grassland habitats they enjoy. These is all for today. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you soon.